Elon Musk met Chinese Premier Li Chang in Beijing in a surprise trip on Sunday. The visit was to discuss the rollout of full self-driving software and permission to transfer data overseas, according to a person with knowledge of the matter. Full self-driving software, or FSD, is the most autonomous version of Tesla's autopilot software, launched four years ago. However, the US electric vehicle maker has yet to make it available in China, its second largest market globally. Musk said this month Tesla may make FSD available to customers in China very soon. Industry experts say the complicated and busy traffic conditions in China provide more scenarios that are key for training autonomous driving algorithms at a faster pace. I am actually really confused about why this is happening because my understanding is that for the most part, China has been a bit better on not, is this an AI narrator? Yes, uh, that China has been uh, a bit better on not giving in to this Silicon Valley like grift cycle. Guys, autonomous driving still doesn't exist. You know what else? It's never going to. It will not. There will never be software that reliably allows a car to navigate in the infinite conditions a car needs to navigate to exist in a city. The most you're going to get maybe is like autonomous rail lines or something. The idea of like uh, like actually having autonomous cars in a city, the main problem here is liability. Who's liable if there's an accident? It just doesn't work. It's a scam. It's, it's not happening. It are exists. What do you mean? No, it doesn't. The liability issue is a huge one. Yeah, yeah. People never think of the like social ramification of stuff like this. You know, this is it's just it's not viable. Yeah, those are trolleys, sir. One is liability an issue in China? Yes, China is not like a a, a a failed state. Liability is an issue for their legal system. Technologically, it's nowhere close, Benjamin. Any anybody who tells you that we're anywhere close to actual autonomously driven vehicles that can fully drive on their own, like you have not been you have you are not familiar with how many startups have emerged, failed, and died off of this premise. Like, Tesla has kept pushing back further and further its rollout on this technology, because if, if right now, like, it, re it remains entirely like a an oddity that you can uh, gawk at uh, while you sit there ready to take control the moment something goes wrong, uh, which it will, you know? I, I fully, I fully don't believe in this. It's like saying, yeah, it's like saying we're close to like AI, you know, like, like actual AI. It, it, it's, it's, we're not, there's just a lot of people who hype it up. We're not doing that Nikki bugs. Oh wait, I get it. it. You're doing a bit. Gotcha. Would it work if all vehicles were AI driven? No, I'm familiar with it. Vosh. I've spoken to top researchers in the field. It's 15 years away. Uh-huh. Yeah, sure. You, that sentence reads like a joke and I would believe it one from anyone else. You could do it with embedded circuits in the road to tell where all the cars are. Yeah, but that'll never happen. It's easy to do, but no government would allow for this. They should. No, they shouldn't. No, autonomous driving just shouldn't be a thing. It's dead technology. Don't care. Don't do it. If you want, if you want to, if you want to build a city where people spend less time driving, build the city so people spend less time driving. Don't spend fifty quadrillion dollars implementing a system where people can like sit in their cramped car waiting to get to where, where they want to go to. You know. I meant shouldn't, my bad. Oh, okay, you meant shouldn't. But I, I, I enjoyed rambling, so I, I appreciate you giving me, like, a pretext, you know. Literally a former Tesla investor. B Benjamin Gilbert Liff, are you making a joke right now? Do you realize there is not a single human alive less credible than a former Tesla investor? You mean somebody who was stupid enough to buy into their shit and give them money? Like, why? how is that an expert in the field? That's the opposite. This That's literally the worst. But you're talking to a person who has a financial investment in believing the technology, not somebody with expertise in the technology. Technically, a current Tesla investor is even worse. Yeah, I suppose that's true. It could be a current Tesla investor. I made money. You made money on speculation, not on results, Benjamin Gilbert Liff. In terms of actual, like... Tesla performance, it's been a failure time after time. Their cars are overpriced, dangerous, people keep dying in Tesla fires because their batteries catch. They're not well made, the Cybertruck rollout was a failure, they've completely cancelled their line of cheap uh, electric cars because they don't want to uh, compete with China in the field of cheap electric cars because China's owning their ass and handing it back to them. Uh, you know, like, it, it, and and basically every level, like as a as a commercial uh, retailer of cars, uh, Tesla has failed time and time again. And now that I've you know sort of like lo like poisoned the well with this, I, I look forward to Tesla suddenly being very impressive to sort of prove me wrong there. You know. But Tesla is grappling with falling sales and an intensifying price war for EVs led by Chinese brands. There are also safety concerns. Tesla recalled more than two million vehicles in the United States in December to install new autopilot safeguards. US auto safety regulators said on Friday 
They'd opened an investigation into whether that was adequate, following a series of crashes. That's great. Tesla shares are down almost a third since the start of the year, as concerns have grown about the EV maker's growth trajectory. Nice. I do, I am curious why China is allowing this to happen, but I guess maybe, maybe they're just looking forward to China, or to Tesla getting beaten the f*** out by their local um, electric vehicle brands. I am, STO. Because China is an anarcho-capitalist uh, hellscape. No, they, they, they actually tend to be pretty okay when it comes to some types of, of social planning stuff. You know, the, the building out the cities and the metros in advance, uh, 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 sort of like, handing out uh, permission to drive in a kind of tiered system so the highways aren't always clogged. You know, there's there's a thing. It's a thing. If self-driving happens, who do you think should be liable? It, the driver will always be the liable one. You guys are insane if you think that they're liter that any company would ever allow uh, 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 auto-driving cars for the legal liability to legally always be the company or the software developer. Are you insane? They'd be fighting off like hundreds of lawsuits every hour. You know, how many, you have any idea how many car accidents happen? Most car accidents are either like obviously one person at fault or like the two people who get in an accident will just be like, God damn it. And they'll like exchange insurance information or whatever. If you had to do a legal battle for everyone, no shot. Liability will always be to the driver. And that means there has to be a driver. And if there's a driver, then who the f cares if it self drives? What's the point? Can somebody tell me what the point of a self driving car is anyway? You have to be in the car anyway, don't you, to get to where you're going? And it's not like a self-driving car can self-load, like human labor is going to be involved in. So it, it's, you realize the only reason they're trying to sell you self-driving cars is so you Silicon Valley cucks can respond to your emails in the hour and a half commute from the suburbs outside of San Francisco into the downtown core. You know that, right? That is literally it. You're not gonna get any more free time. If anything, you're gonna get less. It's nightmarish fake futurism. Dude, I want to play some Tears of the Kingdom on my way to an anime con. Then take, get an Uber. It's good to see electric vehicles make progress in China. All cars will be electric in the future, Musk said in a video posted to social media by a user affiliated with state media. Later on Sunday, a top Chinese auto association published a list of 76 car models that it said had tested and been found to be compliant with China's data security requirements, among them being Tesla's Model Y and 3 cars. The company said this month it would lay off 10% of its global workforce as it grapples with falling sales and intensifying price war for EVs led by Chinese brands. Man, things are going great. Vosh, sorry time, but the driver won't always be liable. There are currently driverless taxis in San Francisco. Customers are riding in the back. No drivers. Is the customer in the back at fault? It's dumb, but it exists. Yeah, okay, I'm talking about a general rollout. In the f lawless ANCAP hellscape that is San Francisco, I'm sure there are startups that are like doing that and paying people under the table or like quietly making problems disappear. I'm talking about like broader involvement here. Also, I, I question that as well. Hold on. Because I've heard about these so-called driverless taxis before. Hold on. Oh, this should be good. There's like 10 of them right now. You've probably seen them on social media. Videos going viral of driverless taxis in San Francisco causing traffic jams. This is what our country's come to. <laughs> and as the frustrations grow, the oversight seems to be on its own jerky ride. Just a week and a half ago, California regulators voted to allow two companies, Waymo and Cruise, to start offering 24-7 autonomous taxi service. But over the weekend, California's DMV demanded that Cruise cut its operating fleet in half while they investigate recent crashes. Walking down the streets of San Francisco, you almost can't miss- Man, I love the- I love the Silicon Valley attitude towards disruption, man. You know, what if- what if we spent 50 billion dollars making things worse, but like, more complicated too? Driverless robo-taxis. And even though the city by the bay is a famously tolerant place, these newcomers are getting a pretty wide range of reactions. I think it, the technology is amazing. It feels like we were, we're living with the Jetsons. <laughs> I think it's not safe, despite them saying it is safe. I think it's going just one step too far. Look at this Driving the debate, regular snafus. There's like one, two, three, four cruise cars blocking. No one can get through. Just one day after California approved the expanded use of driverless cars, nearly a dozen robo-taxis froze, creating a traffic jam. Jesus and Christ. I looked and there were no drivers in them. Then, a New York Times report of one getting stuck in wet cement. Look at these guys. And separately, a cruise taxi collided with a fire truck last week, preventing it from responding to a fire, according to NBC Bay Area. San Francisco's fire chief previously telling NBC News the company's helpline just doesn't cut it in an emergency situation. 
Dude, listen to this shit. City agencies have repeatedly raised concerns about the potential for the vehicles to impede emergency responders. Officials have documented dozens of incidents in which a driverless car interfered with emergency vehicles, including one instance where firefighters were battling a house fire. That kind of obstruction could be a matter of life and death, according to the chief of the San Francisco Police De uh, Fire Department, Janine Nicholson. The president of the city's board of supervisors, Aaron Peskin, said the North Beach incident had sent chills down our responders' collective spines. And what? And for what reason? Why? What benefit do any of these serve? What do, like, wow, they have, the, that's crazy. Are they, like, doing taxi service? How much does it cost to ride one of these? I bet you it's not cheaper than just a regular taxi. Why are they here? A non-solution in search of a problem. Like, we don't have time to call a 1-800 number when we are trying to get to an incident to do our job. It's impacting public safety and... My concern is that- Bosch agreed, but the passenger is not at fault here? Yeah, because they haven't legislated on it yet. The question of who's going to be at fault in terms of like autonomous vehicle driving, it, again, no company will ever allow them to have hundreds of thousands of vehicles out there on the road if they could be held legally accountable for every traffic violation those cars held. The company would go bankrupt instantly. It won't happen. This is only happening because it's in like an unregulated space. You, re you realize, even in this video that we're watching right now, these dr these driverless vehicles are committing traffic infractions that in real life would lead to drivers getting uh, citations or in some cases possibly arrests, right? So the fact that that's not happening right now means that there's a loophole that this company might be taking advantage of, but eventually, like, that's not going to stand. They will rule, yeah, no, actually, we're going to treat this like the parent company is responsible. And, uh, uh, and and then it won't be viable anymore because there's no way they're ever going to make this not be like a ruinous, destructive piece of shit. That it's going to have dire consequences at some point. Those concerns have prompted activists to fight back using traffic cones to confuse the vehicle. So oh yeah, I remember this. If you put a traffic cone on the hood of these cars, they can't move because they see a traffic cone. They think it's right there, so they can't move anymore. Cruz is pushing back on safety criticisms, saying, quote, Cruz's safety record is strong and we're proud of it. More than 3 million driverless miles in San Francisco without a single fatality or life-threatening injury. They added that they continue to make improvements. Waymo, the other self-driving taxi company owned by Google's Alphabet, did not respond to our request for comment, but has also defended its safety record. Across the whole country last year, there were 1.35 deaths per 100 million miles driven by humans, according to the federal government. The robo-taxis here still Still have a lot of driving to do just to make a fair comparison. I've been in several myself as a resident of the area. The rides got me from point A to point B every time and were relatively uneventful, which isn't always the case. Reports that some people are having sex in the robo taxis with no driver around to yeah, stop. Yeah, why wouldn't they? <laughs> like, yeah, obviously people are going to do that. Stop them, adding to the intrigue for locals in the city. It's cheaper than a hotel room, but a little cramped. You know, we're very inventive when it comes to illegal Hell yeah, man. sexual Hell yeah, activity brother. in this town. You're welcome. God, I hate those things. God, I hate I hate fake futurism more than like anything, man. I hate it so. I hate it so much, man. It makes me so angry, man. I want to look at one more. I can't. It it it, it compels me. The San Francisco Bay Area, home to the biggest high tech companies and the capital of the world when it comes to artificial intelligence. So it's no surprise. So uh, that whole thing you said, okay, the great Grumbo, you, you're sort of reinforcing my belief that the people most interested in, in like tech and scientism are the ones least capable of understanding it. I'll read your comment out loud in full and then I'll be mean to you. So uh, that whole thing you said about um, full self-driving never happening and it's impossible was kind of bullshit as even the reporter said he's done multiple trips to that incident. I didn't, I'm sorry, I thought this was obvious. I didn't mean it's not possible for there to be an AI that drives a car from A to B. I mean, widespread social adoption of the technology is not possible. Thank you, Benjamin. One moment. Widespread adoption of this technology is not possible for a variety of legal liability related reasons. They suck. This technology sucks. Okay. It's bad. It's not good. It's not, it's not good. And what, at this, I, and I mean that both at a technical level and like a practical one, what good is any of this serving? You know, again, nobody is going to like no company is going to front liability for all those vehicles out there. This is just we're operating in a legal like dead zone right now. You know, it's the Wild West. It's like the early days of crypto.
you know? Like I'm saying, you can't use crypto as a currency and someone else is saying, well, I just bought a pizza with a Bitcoin, you know, what? A, and then it's like, well, no, by not use it as a currency, I mean that it's a speculative investment and the price will rapidly oscillate. Also, like the, the liquidity of it is incredibly tenuous, like that kind of shit, you know? And what social benefit does any of this serve, man? The city is now a testbed for the large scale deployment of a fascinating new technology. The driverless car. A handful of operators have deployed their vehicles here, including. Is it really that difficult to get a human to read stuff out loud? GM subsidy and winding hillside streets. The city is a handful. We can see that our car just waited for the incoming traffic to pass before making its way and turning left. So, I must admit that it's fairly efficient at detecting obstacles and, and avoiding them and navigating through the very uh, complicated streets of San Francisco. So past the initial apprehension and curiosity of seeing the steering wheel turn by itself, I must admit that it's, it's uh, fairly close to the normal experience we'd get in a normal taxi, except of course- Which again that, begs the question for why it exists. Why does it need to driver, exist? And no tip. Well, that kind of that kind of tells you, doesn't it? There's no driver and no tip. There you go. In less than a year, the service has become very popular. Edwin Carrillo is an enthusiastic first-time user. This is definitely very different. Like you're you're a passenger, there's nobody in front of you, so it's a little bit weird. But yeah, it, it was good. Claudia Navoa now wouldn't do without it. It's just quick, it's easy when you're not feeling social, you don't have to talk a lot. Like, I think- Thank you, I hate you. Oh my God, we're like, we're, are, this species is going to die out because everyone is gonna be a small bean who has anxiety and, and doesn't want to interact with other humans. Are you really that atomized that you can't handle a, 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 a goddamn Uber ride or taxi conversation? That's like one of the benefits. But not everyone is happy. Unsurprisingly, cab drivers- it's, it's like all those people on Twitter who are defending door dashing everything because it would save them the social anxiety of going to the supermarket. ...are highly critical, like Tom, who's been driving in San Francisco for over 20 years. Like, you know, I don't like them because they take away my business. And anyway, who invents that sort of thing? What's the whole point of inventing that? Yeah! You know what I mean? A driverless car? Like, you know, what's that? Is that for people who just don't want any human contact for the rest of their life? No wonder it's taking off in San Francisco. The firefighters also have their doubts, starting with Darius Luttrup. Deputy Head of Operations. For good reason. Incidents are multiplying. The San Francisco Fire Department set up a reporting process. We had, uh, we started capturing the information in May of last year, and then we're up to 90 something reports. 90 incidents? Uh, 90 incidents just between our fire vehicles and, uh, and AVs, yes. Jeez. Many of these incidents are of no consequence. Some are even amusing. The ones that kind of strike me as the funniest is when they group up and they all end up in the same place where they'll have a communication error and then all of a sudden the whole street will be full of them all at the same time and they all break down at the same time. There's like one, two, three, four cruise cars blocking. No one can get through. But other cases are more problematic, like when robotaxis stand in the way of fire trucks or even collide with them a situation that prompted the fire department to file a complaint. My firefighter. See, look, file a complaint. If the if the, if a fire vehicle hit your car because you f***ed up, they wouldn't be filing a complaint. The police department would be using you like a kicking bag in a, in a in a drunk tank. Like you you like this is this is what I mean. Like this, they're operating in a loophole right now. Like they wanted to drag someone out of this car and kill them, but they couldn't because it's empty. So what? Like you know who's responsible? Well, right now it's like we file a complaint, you know. But like that that is like an unsolved problem, the liability issue. Cars are driving equipment in these streets. They're fairly unflappable. They've seen a lot of things. And when they are complaining about the behaviors of these cars, I have to take it seriously and address it. Another problem is that California law only allows officers to find a human driver, not a machine, not even its owner. So if I needed to enforce somebody who is blocking a lane of travel, for instance, I could say, okay, you get a ticket, you're towed. 
That's done. You can't do that with the robo taxi. Uh huh. Earlier this year, a Waymo car hit a cyclist, causing minor injuries. Last fall, a car from Cruz even hit a pedestrian that had already been struck by another car, what? dragging the victim over six meters. What? 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 I thought we just got a whole. They haven't injured anyone yet. You're towed. That's done. You can't do that with the robo taxi. Earlier this year, a Waymo car hit a cyclist, causing minor injuries. Last fall, a car from Cruz even hit a pedestrian that had already been struck by another car, dragging the victim over six meters. The incident. If the, the way the ops will get you in 2025 is they set, they call for a pickup from Waymo and they set the pickup location to you, and you ju you just watch as a bunch of autonomous vehicles uh, like screech around the intersection and zoom at you at top speeds. Incident led crews to suspend operations. They very intentionally said no life-threatening injuries in the opening. Yeah, and keep in mind that at the moment, at least, it seems like these cars are basically limited to, like, downtown San Francisco. Like, they're limited to areas where you're not going to be driving that quickly, you know? Maybe that's going to change in L.A.? Two kids almost struck by a self-control cruise vehicle. Self-driving cruise vehicle accused of nearly hitting kids in two separate close calls one day apart. Cruz is at the center of five state and federal government investigations looking at Oh my god. I love Silicon Valley, dude. Holy shit. Cars in California could be forced to follow a new set of laws after an NBC News investigation exposed a lack of penalties when they violate the rules of the road. Bagad Shaban of our Bay Area station has details and new reporting on safety concerns. Close call in the crosswalk as these adults in San Francisco cool. rush two kids out of the way to avoid being hit and then do a double take as they watch the car cruise by with no driver. The so-called robo taxi is operated by Cruise, the embattled driverless car company largely owned by General Motors. That's now the subject of at least five separate government probes. And just one day after that near miss last summer, Seven-year-old Luke says the same thing happened to him and his Love parents the across town. Creeper shirt. I started to like go a little faster because it was heading towards you. Yeah, and then it swerved this way. Did you? Okay, this is this is a bit of a deep cut here, but the editing and intonation on this little exchange really reminds me of the um, Bendy and the Ink Machine, Plants vs. Zombies. Uh, John Pork, that guy? Do you... A little faster. Because it was heading towards you? Yeah, and then it swerved <laughs> this way. Did you, you worry know? it was going to hit you? Yeah, if I didn't run, it would have hit me probably. So this is where you crossed that day. Exactly. Sasha Retayo is Luke's dad. You thought it was safe to cross here because you saw the cruise car loud shirt, stop King. at the stop sign. Fully stopped. Fully stopped, and then it started when we had gotten maybe a third of the way or halfway across the intersection, and it started to accelerate. Transportation documents we obtained show the California DMV is now investigating, but Cruz, which pulled its entire fleet off the road last fall amid <laughs> safety concerns, says its records show none of its driverless cars traveled through that specific intersection around the time the family says they were almost hit. Cruz adding. We are committed to operating with safety and transparency and continue to investigate this incident. A rogue car. Sasha says there's no mistaking the logo he saw. And I was just angry, super angry. The majority of the operating cost of running a public bus is paying the driver. Full self-driving buses could be useful for that. Or we could just pay the bus driver. You know, we could just, like, do that. That my kid could have been hurt or killed by this cruise vehicle. Critics argue driverless cars lack oversight. Late last year, we reported on a loophole that's been allowing some of the nation's driverless cars to avoid penalties when they break the rules of the road. Here in California, we discovered traffic tickets have to be issued to an actual person. So driverless cars... That's so f funny, man. That, the, the idea that that's the loophole. The idea of, like, it is actually in the law. Like, you can't give a traffic ticket to a car, you know have pretty much been immune to those fines. It's really been a very glaring hole in the law. California Assemblyman Phil Ting wants companies held liable and traffic tickets sent to them. So he's pushing for a new state law following our investigation. Really appreciate that story for coming out and highlighting, frankly, the need for the legislation that I'm, uh, that I'm introducing. The Autonomous Vehicle Industry Association says it's open to change. Jeff Farah is the group's CEO.
If there is clarification that needs to be made in California, we are committed to sitting down and working that through with the appropriate policymakers. But even if the bill gets the green light, driverless cars will likely be able to continue steering clear of those traffic yeah. fines until the new law goes into effect. That's awesome. Expanding into L.A., starting free rides in parts of the city. Great, 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 great. When are you moving back to L.A.? Well, never now. This is my 13th reason. Although Waymo isn't charging for rides in its robo-taxis in L.A. to start, the company said that it'll eventually collect fares from passengers there, too. Yep, obviously. All right, that's enough. I hate this shit so much, man. Oh my f god, I hate it. I don't think... I don't think people understand that it's okay for humans to do things. Do you hate this or AI more? It's the same grift. It's anti-human nonsense. How long do you think Elon's gonna try to introduce his own Tesla taxi service? He has. He's been talking about it for years. The promise to a bunch of Tesla owners was, you'll be able to have your Tesla used as a taxi to earn you extra income when you're not using the car. Uh, obviously none of this has happened, of course. You know, he just says stuff. Exhausting topic. Do you think in general that automating labor is bad? First of all, I don't think any AI will ever be able to appropriately replicate all the nuance and human consideration that goes into something like driving around. I just don't. I don't think it's possible. I don't think it ever will be possible unless we actually properly invent AI, AI, uh, which we're not right now. So whatever. Secondly, I don't think there's anything wrong with having humans do jobs, you know? Like, sometimes the problem is that these jobs or these situations shouldn't exist at all. Would automating, like, trucker work be good? Sure. But why does trucking even exist in the capacity that it does, in the way that it does, right? Like, there's lots of stuff that you could automate that might be good, but, like, to what end? Is it, is it good that it be automated? Why should that thing exist at all in an automated form even, you know? Everyone wants to automate out the social jobs, too. Like, look at self-checkout, you know? Thanks, thanks, guys, you know? Uh, Anti-social dipshits plus COVID gave every supermarket, like, carte blanche, you know, like, oh, sure, yeah, we're not going to have any people on staff now. If you want to, if you, if you go into a grocery store, it's now a like, uh, graveyard where there are two people working. One of them is, is, is manning one of the six empty checkout lanes. And if you want to leave in any reasonable length of time, like you have to go to the self checkout, which isn't any faster now. It's, 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 it's just, uh, don't they need people to monitor the self checkout? Yes. It doesn't help anyone. Self checkout is a godsend for poor people. Yeah. Well, I'd rather that stuff be handled through a government program than the five finger discount, but yeah. And the self-checkouts are half-closed now at Walmart. Yeah, they, they don't even... I'm not saying self-checkout is necessarily a bad thing, but they shouldn't be the primary way of checking out, you know?